Hello, today we'll present our research, Bending Active Plates with Tensile Elements, a biomimetic approach inspired by the Australian curly leaf spider. The primary aim of this research is to explore how bending active plates can be shaped with tension elements to produce an efficient and adaptable architectural system. Bending active systems are unique because they allow for the creation of complex curved geometries from initially planar elements, making them easier for prefabrication and assembly on site. This presents an alternative for the complex fabrication processes that are currently used for the production of curvilinear architectural forms, which often employ subtractive fabrication processes. Tensile elements offer a means to adapt geometry, which complements the lightweight and efficient nature of bending active systems. This project proposes a hybrid system where tensile elements provide a simple and controllable assembly process for bending active plates, inspired by how the Australian curly leaf spiders construct their shelters. The system enables quick erection of 3D building modules and the creation of complex curved geometries at a global level through the aggregation of locally adapted modules. We situate our research within the fields of architectural biomimetics, bending active systems, and hybrid systems. Architectural biomimetics focuses on the transfer of biological principles to architecture and engineering with the intention of creating more efficient design solutions. This relies on application through abstraction rather than simply copying natural solutions. Bending active systems are structural systems composed of curved beams or curved plates that gain stability from the geometric stiffness of the material in its deformed state. An example is the 2010 ICD ITK Research Pavilion, which employs initially planar birch lamellas to create a complex curved interlocking cell structure. While the pavilion demonstrated a complex curved geometry, it was also limited by the geometric possibilities of the 2D planar modules. We aim to expand the global geometric potential by bending planar elements into 3D modules. Hybrid systems consist of two or more subsystems that complement one another through either reciprocal stress compensation or added structural rigidity. The system we propose combines bending active plates with a tensile system. One example is the cable bending active structure completed at the University of Cyprus, which employs a pair of parallel linear strips and a secondary tensioning system. A single tensioning system was used to pre-stress and stabilize multiple modules, limiting achievable global forms to linear configurations. In order to further explore how bending active plates can be shaped with tensile elements, we took a biomimetic approach inspired by the behaviors of the Australian curly leaf spider. Our methodology follows a bottom-up process beginning with biological research, understanding the functional morphological principles, and then abstracting these principles to a technical level applicable on an architectural scale. First, explorative models were made to define design parameters, informing the creation of various bending modules. Then these modules are evaluated based on ease of assembly, which relates to simplicity of the tensioning mechanism and capacity to aggregate into complex 3D geometries. Lastly, the modules are integrated into a shell geometry through a computational design workflow from which a 1 to 20 scale prototype was constructed. The Australian curly leaf spider was selected as a biological role model because it uses multiple materials to create a hybrid system with silk and found objects. The spider collects lightweight objects such as a leaf, suspends it in a web, and weaves silk around it to bend it into a shelter. Observation of the spider's leaf bending process shows that the types of shelters created are affected by biomechanical properties of the leaves, properties of the silk, and the spider's weaving behaviors. These principles are transferred to architecture as sheet material properties and geometry, and weaving pattern and sequence, respectively. Abstracted models are made from rectangular paper strips to experiment with fiber weaving. A graphical notation system was devised to denote the fiber path, fiber direction, and the weaving sequence. These models help define a series of design parameters, such as the geometric constraints of pins and string lengths, and provide empirical rules to reference during further experimentation. Various modules were tested and evaluated to understand how a simple tensioning process can control various physical states, and how the modules could be aggregated into a doubly curved shell structure. Some modules, as shown in this slide, have too extreme a curvature, which makes scaling this to a stiffer material not viable. Even though these modules stack easily, they're not appropriate for transfer to architectural scale. This led us to simplify the module to a pair of linear elements and use the tensioning system to vary the module so that an aggregation creates a curved surface. 
When the outlines of each strip are straight, the aggregated surface has curvature only in one dimension. However, when the outlines are adjusted, they can create a global geometry with double curvature. For a 1 to 20 scale prototype, polystyrene with a cross section of 0.5 millimeters and an elastic modulus of 3.25 gigapascal was selected because it achieved the required curvature for our modules and provided enough stiffness to build the prototype. A computational workflow was developed to explore how to shape and control the system while ensuring fabricatability. Geometry of the module was first rationalized on a 2D grid as um, two staggered polycurve pairs. Control points for each module could be altered to adjust the curvature while maintaining a relationship between them. Then the module was applied to a UV grid on a surface. While this method re uh, relied more on geometric properties than material properties, it provided us with a framework for achieving any doubly curved surface geometry. For fabrication, the global geometry was disc discretized into individual elements and enrolled. Each enrolled module was given an ID, string placement marks, a midpoint line for joining to the next module, as well as the height between midpoints required in its post-tension state. In the assembly process, each unrolled strip was cut and a tensioning string was woven through the individual plates. Rows were constructed by joining the pairs at their corresponding short edges. Then each module was tensioned individually to their bent state using a height value printed on each piece. Lastly, rows were joined together and the system began taking curvature in the direction perpendicular to the strips. In this project, Australian curly leaf spiders fabrication process was abstracted and subsequently rationalized to make it suitable for application in architecture. This led to exploration and development of a hybrid bending active system based on weaving and tensioning of fibers with a focus on the biometric approach to designing efficient structural systems, in this case, a high hybrid bending active system. The proposed system can be shipped to site in a flat state and assembled by tensioning in a controlled manner. The complexity that arises out of sequential tensioning, as well as the structural performance of the connection method, requires further study. Future research would also include a higher integration of material studies in the computational model. Thank you.